Oh. What's up everybody, welcome back to Mad Medicine. My name is Farhan, I'm a medical student and uh, my wife made me this cup. She does ceramics and uh, check it out, it's so cool. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see if we can focus on it. Look, it's so cool, right? It's so shiny. And uh, yeah, that's her mark right there. There's a little bit of water I don't wanna drop. Anyways, go check out her Instagram. It's freaking tight, all right? It's freaking cool. She does these cool ceramic stuff and she makes things. It's, uh, the, the thing is below, so go check it out. The link is also below, it's called Fatima's Clay. Uh, so, shout out to my wife for making me this cup. Mm. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about whether or not you have to major in bio as a pre-med student. This is going to be a quick to the point conversation, to the point. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you guys like what we're doing. Okay, so one of you guys asked me the other day, should I major in bio or do I have to major in biology as a pre-med student who wants to go into medical school? And the quick and simple, painless, easy answer is no, you don't have to major in bio or any bio-related uh, degree to get accepted into medical school. I know so many people who did not go to medical school. Sorry, whoa, yeah, actually, I do know a lot of people who didn't go to medical school, but that's not what I was trying to say. I know so many people who did not study biology, who did not major in bio, and they got accepted into medical school completely fine. Case in point, one of my friends actually studied education, and another of my friends studied psychology, and uh, both of them are going into medical school. So just to think, that bio is the only way you're gonna get into medical school is wrong. You can major in anything. Like guys, you can literally major in human studies or, or woman studies, thanks, sorry. Uh, you can major in any subject you want and you can still get accepted and you can still go to medical school. That should not matter when it comes to you guys deciding, uh, should I go into medical school? Do I have to do this? When you're in college, you should study what you want to study. If you guys enjoy bio, study it. If you hate bio, then you need to first reconsider whether medicine is the right career for you. But if you really think medicine is what you want to do, you should study what you want to study. And that's why my friends who did education, who studied, uh, one of my friends did history, another of my friend who did psychology, they decided to major in those subjects, not because they actually wanted to pursue a career in those subjects per se, but they just wanted to study something else. And I think that was such a smart decision. If I could go back today uh, and I could reconsider whether or not I wanna go and study bio, I wouldn't do that. I really wouldn't. I would study something else. Not because I don't like bio, I love bio. In fact, bio is really cool to me and it's always been really cool to learn how your whole body functions. Like how is your heart pumping? Right? How is your liver and your kidneys filtering so much blood to take care of all the toxins and excrete all this waste? It's just baffling to me. And that's why I was always interested in learning medicine and going into medical school. But would I study bio per se? No, I, in my personal opinion, I would probably go into computers because I thought computers are so cool. I have always been interested in electronics because you know we grew up in the electronic age. Uh, I would probably study something like that. That's what I would do. So do you need a major in bio to get into medical school? Absolutely not. You could do biochemistry, you could do physics, you could do math, you could do English, you could do anything. Uh, that sounds like a rap song. Uh, <laughs> like a kid's rap, kid's bop. Anyways, what I do wanna say is that no matter what you guys decide to major in, no matter what major you decide to choose uh, to have when it comes to being a pre-med, you gotta make sure that you take those pre-med classes. You got to make sure you take the prerequisites for medical school because without those prerequisites, you're not going to get into medical school. So that's a lot of the reason why people decide to choose bio. Uh, your Bio actually has all those prerequisites for medical school built into the degree. So if you want to do bio, if you want to get a bio degree, you have to go through bio. You have to go through physics, one year of physics, one year of chemistry, organic chemistry, uh, math, and English, right? Like that is the requirements for medical school. It's already built in. If you are doing something else like computer science, right? In, in non like bio degrees, you are required often to take a bio class, but that bio class is not like a medical school requirement. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't complete the medical school requirements. In fact, those bio classes for non-science majors are very, very easy and very simplified. So 
it doesn't meet those requirements. And in fact, along with the other degree, along with your history degree or your women's studies degree or your education psychology degree, you still have to take the bio, the bio classes for medical school, the chemistry, the organic chemistry, the physics, the math, the English classes that you need to take for medical school. So sometimes it can be a lot more work. Just understand that when you guys are choosing which uh, major you want to have as a pre-med student. It may be great and it may work out for you, but it also may be a ton of work, a ton of work for you. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're deciding your majors or if you're deciding to switch. That is pretty much what I want to say as far as whether or not you guys have to go, uh, you guys have to study biology, whether you have to major in bio or biochemistry or molecular chemistry, molecular biology, etc, etc. No, you can major in whatever you want, choose whatever you want, choose whatever appeals to you the most. But if you decide to go outside you know, of the realm of biology, understand that you're going to take more classes than your peers who are just studying the degree. So that's all I got to say, folks. Pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty simple, not too hard to understand. I hope this helped. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel because we're posting brand new videos for you guys every single day. Now, if you guys are pre-meds and you guys are watching me on this video channel, every week we're releasing uh, MCAT study material, study videos, where we're talking about the topics for the MCAT. I'm going to be breaking it down for you guys. I'm going to be going through the bio, the biochemistry, the physics, the organic chemistry, God damn, and <laughs> the chemistry and we're gonna figure out a way to do cars. We're making these videos for the MCAT for you guys to check out. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you guys are medical students and you guys are watching this for some reason, I do have USMLE videos. I don't know why you'd be watching this video, but yo, know, thanks for watching it. And uh, don't be afraid because every Wednesday, we're gonna be posting this talking head type of video for you guys. So you guys can definitely go ahead and get some more uh, educational knowledge that's not just about bio and biochemistry, et cetera, et cetera. It's gonna help you become a well-rounded applicant. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, uh, comment on the video if you guys want me to talk about something specific. If you guys have a topic in mind you want me to cover, let me know. And subscribe to our channel. And while you're out there, go and check out my social media accounts. I really appreciate the support. And go check out my wife's social media account to show her some love, give her some support on her uh, Clay channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. Next Wednesday. I'll see you guys back here next Wednesday. Take it easy, fam. Thank you.